The online monument designer gives you the ability of importing your own images onto your monument design. This is useful when you need to add a special logo, portrait, or other image to your customer's presentation image. When importing an image onto your monument, you have two options. First, you may drop the background away from an image. Second, you may import the image in color or in grayscale. In this short video, we will start by choosing an image. These three images would all be suitable for dropping the background in the designer. Now let's go to the canvas. To import an image, go to File, Import Image. A small window will appear that reads Add Custom Image. The first thing you want to do is choose a file by clicking this button. This will open another window where you can locate the image you want to use. I think I'm going to go with a guitar. You'll notice there are two toggles below the name of your file. To automatically remove a solid background from your image, check yes on the first toggle. And to keep the color in an image, perhaps to represent a color etching, or render it in black and white, also called grayscale, to show how the image will look when sandblasted, use the toggle switches to determine how your image will be rendered on your monument design. Then click here to add your image. You now have an image that you can move around like any other component. If you zoom in and look carefully, we've added a bit of transparency, so your image will inherit some of your stone's color and texture. For the best results, you'll want to use an image with a solid background rather than details in the background. For example, an image like this studio portrait would be much better than this other picture, which was taken outdoors. The scenery in the background will be part of the image that appears on the memorial. You will be able to import JPEG or PNG files into the designer. Other formats are not compatible. If you have difficulty importing an image, be sure you are importing one of these two formats. If you need help converting your image to one of these formats, please give us a call at 800-736-7455. An important thing to remember is this. Because you have imported an image which is made up of colored pixels, there will be no nodes or curves for a stencil cutter to follow, as there are in a CAD design. For this reason, the image you imported will not be exported with the AI or DXF you export for cutting stencil. An artist will still have to draw or convert your image into a Sandblast compatible file. However, your imported image will appear on the exported JPEG, which can be saved, printed, or copied and pasted into a contract for your customer to sign. And that's how you import a custom image onto your monument design in DesignMart's online monument designer. Remember, if you have any questions at all, feel free to call us at 800-736-7455 or email d-mart at designmart.com. We'll be happy to answer your questions and we can even get connected to you remotely and share the mouse to show you exactly what to do. Thank you for watching.